Pope Francis voices support for same-sex civil unions. In the Vatican City of the Vatican, my favorite theocracy, um, <laughs> just kidding, um, in remarks revealed in the recently released documentary film Francesco, um, Pope Francis expressed support for same-sex civil unions. He reiterated that he stood up for his view that gay people are children of God and said, quote, if we have to create a civil union law that we what we have to do is create a civil union law. That way they are legally covered. However, Francis's opposition to gay marriage within the church remains absolute. The Pope also stated, quote, homosexuals have a right to be part of the family. They're children of God and have a right to a family. No one should be thrown out or made to feel miserable because of it. Um, end quote. Church teaching does not consider gay being gay to be a sin, but it does consider homosexual acts as, quote, intrinsically disordered, and by extension holds that as homosexual orientation is objectively disordered. All right, I want to say something really quick, okay? Oh, yeah, go for it. Everybody who is congratulating the Pope for like, yay, great, this is great news, the Pope, this is good news, but screw the Pope and screw him extra hard for saying civil for civ saying civil union uh, instead of marriage um technically he you went like being a and being a homophobic bigot to just a less homophobic bigot because you technically are saying that they don't deserve marriage right mm -hmm. that's what mm -hmm. you're saying right like hey well, look at us we're making progress oh yeah you just became a, t a slightly less bigoted than before and you don't deserve congratulations for that at all because you're still a effing bigot you, you, the people who pressured the catholic church and your religion and your dogma to get you to to this position this progress is progress that you deserve zero credit for and all the people that normalize it enough for you to eventually catch up. You're, I mean, you're, you're a couple of decades behind the civilized world, but this is progress that you deserve a zero credit for. And yeah, congratulations to those people, not to you. Congratulations to those people who forced you here and screw you. And your entire church needs to end. You need, it needs to, we need to, Tear down your church and turn it into a museum. Okay, your entire organization, the whole, the, all of your church, need to crumble. Everything about everything you stand for needs to end. You deserve zero credit for this, and nobody should be thanking you. Anyways, that was my thing. I also want to point out while he's saying they're children of God and they should be able to have rights and they should be able to be part of the family he means the family of the state that gives these rights to people because then in the next sentence he says they're fundamentally disordered right because he said the quote that you read where he said it's not homosexual people it's the act the church is against it and that that is in and of itself you know fundamentally disordered yeah and it's really it's interesting though in the sense that marriage used to be exclusively the control of the church or religions, you know, for example, if we're talking Catholic Church Europe, it was exclusively the control of the church. The state didn't have anything to do with it. Now, the state's involved in marriage by issuing licenses, giving, um, you know, tax breaks or, you know, things to do with inheritance. All of that is now onto the state. So he's basically just saying, okay, there's two signs of marriage. There's state stuff and there's church stuff. And while we, you know, we think you're children of God, you're still disordered mm -hmm. under our, you know, worldview. Yeah. Um, he's previously said, yeah, that they have a right to a family before adding that does not mean approving of homosexual acts, not in the least. Um so it's also like to see celebrities like fawning over this like ellen degeneres was praising the pope um 
for you don't know, like Ellen DeGeneres is a lesbian icon. Um, so it drives me crazy because this completely ignores the fact that, like, okay, yeah, one, you're clearly saying like separate but not equal. And that argument of like civil unions versus marriage was exactly the first thing that my mom said to me when I came out to her is like, why do you have to take marriage from us? Um, so that was like, triggering just for me personally um and also like to see the american media like just fall over themselves to praise this drives me crazy because like um the catholic church schools and care providers actively actively discriminate against the lgbtq community in america and around the world to this day frequently Teachers are constantly being fired as soon as the diocese or administrators find out that they are married to a person of the same sex. So, um, there people want to celebrate this statement, which people are now disputing what the legitimacy of this clip that was featured, where it came from, if it came from. There's all this dispute about even the clip itself and the origin of this clip, like when the fact remains that um, the Catholic Church in its extensions around the world continues to treat the LGBT community um, with m systemic discrimination. Um, also, like, <laughs> it's so funny to me because Pope Francis has this um, history of making these statements kind of off the cuff, you know, more loose that are more progressive coming from catholic church and in seemingly in contradiction with the catechism of the catholic church and um then so he makes this kind of like loose statements and then as a ca ex-catholic i get to go watch the uh, college of cardinals and bishops go run behind him to go explain exactly why what he says is not in contradiction with catholic dogma and that's exactly what's happening here I, I want to respond to Murtad Skeptic saying um, he, it's good because Murtad Skeptic is giving us a steelman. Um, Murtad, he, he or she is saying if he wanted to change it uh, and make progress, would he be able to do it at all, all at once? To, to steelman him, he could be trying to fit in progress that would be uh, digestible to the followers. Here's a progress he could make. He could be like, screw the church, screw the Catholic doctrine. I'm quitting. Anybody that is following this church is a moron uh, and to even label themselves as Catholic. You all sh should be ashamed of yourself to even be following me at all. I'm out of here. You should be too. That's how you make progress, okay? And this whole organization that I represented needs to end. The fact that half of us are not in jail is, a, is, is the only sign of miracle that I've ever seen uh, in my life. Every other miracle seems to be fake. Um, that's how you make progress, okay? There's nothing stopping him from doing that. That's the only way that, yeah, so you don't make, you, 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 why, what's stopping him from doing that other than him endorsing an um, organization that it seems its main job is right now to protect uh, people who are abusing children. Um, so, yeah, no, I don't give him that at all, okay? Um, but, at, but it's a good, oh, yeah. My advice to any Catholic, yes, thank you, Samantha, leave, exactly, I agree with that. Jeremy is saying, civil union, dot, 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 but not marriage, dot, 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 too little and uh, too little and far too late, we've already won recognition against all your opposition, don't try and pretend you're on our side now, that, you're so th that you've soundly lost the fight, Get the F out of here with your BS. Exactly, I agree with Jeremy. And the fact, the fact that she, you know, like, oh, the Catholic Church is against him, so that he has to make small progress. Well, the fact that the Catholic Church is against him, and, like, the fact that you have to push against this, and the fact that this is something that you need to fight, like, the, that, the, the Catholic doctrine is the barrier, that is by itself shows that you have to throw out the entire system. You have to throw out this entire dogma. Okay, you don't not, like you don't play around. You don't try to s you small make small changes again and something that has historically been in, in a direct opposition of all the values that you stand for, and then keep tapping yourself on the back because 
you know, after after many many years of denying people's rights, now you're like slightly less denying people's rights, slightly less. No, you are all you're everything about you needs to end, and there's no negotiation about that. Everything about what you stand for needs to end. Your entire organization, your entire dogma, your entire cult needs to collapse. But go on. Um, it was super funny. Someone, I can't remember on Twitter, said like, oh, the Pope endorses uh, c- civil unions. Welcome to the 90s. <laughs> yeah. Um, Rivka. People just want to love him because he's like their hippie Pope or something. You know what I mean? Like, I, honestly, I just feel like, you know, we had the the previous Pope who also quit the the Benedict. the n yeah the n uh youth uh the bad guys german n oh yes pope yes 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 and now we have the hippie pope um but um i remember he he was the first pope that's like drawn a pension you know the first pope who quit cuz usually it's a lifetime appointment not the first but and, in several hundred years yes right 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 yeah and uh, I remember Bill Maher made a joke that said, if the Pope can quit, you can too. Which, me, about leaving the <laughs> you know? I mean, I get what you're saying, Armin, about how it needs to end. But I also understand what Murtad's skeptic is saying. Because a lot of organizations, like massive institutions that are so entrenched, do try to make these baby steps because they feel like, you know, I'm not agreeing with it, but I understand the idea of sort of slow change or like reforming the doctrine. You know, it's hard to see that you're you're in the middle of a reform when it's happening until after it happens. If you if you are being held hostage by somebody who abducted you and is torturing you, okay? And all of a sudden, you, you, you're locked in his basement. And, all, and, and one day, you get yourself free. You don't go and like, let me go sit down with him and tell him why he should be torturing me a little bit less. You run for the door and you call the cops. Okay? <laughs> right. You're locked in the basement and then he lets you go up into the landing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I get it. I'm not saying yeah. that, I, but I, I understand the, the thought process, perhaps, and why somebody might. But the thing is, I don't even think it's that, because it sounds like he wants to just have it both ways. Because he's already said, well, they're fundamentally disordered. Right. So that, that in and of itself tells you exactly what he actually thinks. Right. I mean, that's the doctrine. Yeah, and yeah. His, his position of the marriage within the church is absolute. That's not going to change. Um, so, yeah, do you guys have any other commentary? Uh, no, can we? Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also... If you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even you know, people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah. Subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So f that but 
we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized. And that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. 